yeah so what's up guys in this video i'm going to show you exactly how to create a membership website using this plugin called paid membership pro now this is a plugin that is going to allow you create a membership website that you can use to restrict content and even collect subscription plans and uh, money for on your website so this plugin has a free tier as you can see the free tier i'm going to is what i'm going to use to make this video so that you're going to see exactly what you get now this plugin exactly allows you to also monetize you can also collect subscription um, fees from your members so whenever they subscribe to your paid me your membership level they're going to pay you now it has a lot of payment gateways like paypal stripe and so many other ones okay so if you use this plugin and it's what you like you can also later on upgrade to this plan but trust me the free plan is going to do most of the work for you okay so we're going to do that okay and i'm going to head over um to it now so my name is king steve from kingobina.com if you're new to this channel make sure to subscribe turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss any video once i drop them on this channel now to do that what we need to do is to have a wordpress website set up so i've set up this wordpress website basic wordpress website so if you don't know how to set it up it's very simple you just need to buy a domain name and hosting and you know link it and install wordpress so once you're here um, if you have any question about installing wordpress or you don't know how to do it you want me to talk about it you can you know send me an email my email address is in the description box below and i can help you do that so once you have your wordpress website up and running what you need to do right now is to go to this plugin section and click on add new plugin now we want to add that plugin called paid membership pro okay so we'll search for it here so we'll search for paid membership pro here okay guys this is a plugin right now so what we need to do right now as you can see here on the plugin they said paid membership pro you can restrict members to access you can restrict members access to content courses communities free or paid subscriptions and so many things you can do with this plugin so this plugin is an awesome plugin guys it's very very good and that's why i'm bringing it to you guys so that you know about it and you can you know go do more findings and if you want me to do more videos about it you can tell me in the comment section so what you need to do right now is to install the plugin so after installing what i'm going to do is to activate the plugin so that we can start using the plugin with its full potential okay so now we need to activate the plugin so just click on activate so now i've clicked on activate so it's going to activate the plugin for us so right now the plugin is activated so if we look at this uh left hand section here we are going to see this section called memberships okay so this is exactly what we want to do so this option called membership so just over on it and click on dashboard so there are a few settings we need to do for us to get this account or this membership plugin up and running so guys this is the dashboard right now so this is the initial setup as you can see here we have some initial setup we have those things to do for us to start using this plugin now one of the things we need to do is to create a membership level so we just click on it and it's going to take us to where we are going to create a membership level now this membership level is just like you creating your different membership packages for example if you want to have a free package if you want to have a let's say ten dollars per month package or twenty dollars per month package this is where we are going to create the membership levels and the packages okay so that is very very simple so i've clicked on it and i'm waiting for it to load up okay that right now this is it so right now we want to give our membership we want to give it a name okay so we want to give it a name so i can call this uh free plan and description you can add uh, any description you want so i can see uh this is a free plan you know you can just give it any description you want and confirmation image so this image is this message confirmation message so this message is going to appear whenever they subscribe to this membership level so what message do you want to appear here so i can say thanks for 
subscribe it now you can see anything you want or you can write anything you want here so just write say thanks for subscribing so you can you know click here to include this message in the um confirmation message email that is going to be sent to the person now the initial amount you are going to leave it as zero since we are creating a free tier it's called the free plan and uh recurring subscription so if you want this subscription to be recurring like to be collected every month you can click here but since it's a free plan there's no need for that but i'm just showing you it's optional now you can also check to hide the devil from the membership level page no check this to set when membership expires so when their membership expires you can click on it now you can now tell this plugin when you want the membership to expire but this is a free plan i'm going to leave it as forever free plan okay so content settings so what are the content you know you want members to see or something like that now non-members will not see this post in these categories okay so for example if i go to my category section which is this post here and categories i can set categories where i want um, only my members to be able to view those categories okay so if you want only your members to view particular posts or courses or something uh specific to them you don't want other people that are not members you want members to only view that page so you can set it there and restrict them so what what is going to happen is whenever it's someone that is not a member tries to view it it's going to ask the person that it's going to tell the person that the content is only meant for members and the person should buy or subscribe to one of your plans and that way if you have a paid plan you're going to make money okay so that's how you create a membership website so for now i'll just restrict you to these categories and once i'm done i'll just click on save level and it's going to save as you can see what i have here is um the free plan so i'll just go back to dashboard i have the free plan already i go back to dashboard i've created a membership level what i need to do right now is to go and click on manage membership pages now this is very important as well because all these pages are automatically created by this plugin so what we need to do right now is to you know click on save settings in order for us to use all those pages so i'll just click on save settings now so as you can see right here i've clicked on save settings and it's going to i brought me to this page where i'm going to generate like where i'm going to click here so that it's going to generate all the pages for me so once i click on it right now it's going to generate all the pages for me again and i'm going to save settings very simple so guys i believe you're enjoying this tutorial and you're following exactly what i'm showing you now once you've saved settings we go back to the dashboard and continue with the steps so right now the other thing we need to do is to, conf is to configure payment settings so just click on configure payment settings and right now we need to select a payment gateway so we have a lot of payment gateway from stripe to pay by check to pay by e uh, paper express to paper website payments pro paypal pay flow paypal whatever so what we need to do right now is to use paypal standard so paypal standard is the normal paypal okay uh, then this um get to environment we just put it to live mode instead of text mode then here so note we do not recommend using paypal standard we suggest paypal express pips or paypal website pro or paypal pro okay they don't recommend using paypal standard but that's that's what they recommend okay so right now we need to enter our gateway account email so we can use any email we want and the currency here is set to united states dollars of course you can change it okay so right now we need you, if you want to set up tax as well you can do that here as well okay so right now we you the next thing we need to do is to get an ssl seal code now this is going to be provided to you by your web hosting provider all you need to do is to just copy your xsl um what this ssl actually means is this padlock key here right here on the site so you need to collect an ssl certificate and paste it here now i think this is optional as well but you need to do it okay so that it's going to enable your um people that is going to sign up or your paid or, or your membership to be able to know that they are secured and all those stuff so once we are done just click on save settings 
and of course it's going to save the settings okay so it's kind of save you right now okay settings are saved so now we'll go back to dashboard okay we'll go back to dashboard and here yeah okay we've completed these three initial setup so we can go further and you know configure email like uh, email settings custom email templates view advanced settings and we could go on and on with all these other ones but these are the three basic things we need okay so we we'll set up a membership level uh, we've set up um, we have managed payment uh, membership pages and we have configured payment um, payment settings so what we need to do right now is go to pages and click on all pages so what i want to do right in all these pages is to go and see all the pages we've created that the plugin accept us to create so this uh, uh membership um, level here so let me view this um, membership level okay so that i'll show you exactly how it's going to look like on your devices so right as you can see right here i have a basic wordpress team and that's why it's looking like this this is the basic wordpress team okay so if i had beautiful tips and some other teams like um, astra and cadence and the rest of them this is going to look very very cute so this is the free plan we you know did so once i click select it's going to take me to the membership checkout and uh, as you can see we are going to see this um, you have selected the free plan and this is a plan this is the description i wrote there so you must make sure you write a very good description so he said i'm logged in as um, the admin if i would like to use a different account for this membership i should log out now so let me log out and uh let's do this okay so as you can see right here is going to so what for us to be able to complete this uh membership pro stuff we need to register as a user remember i said this thing as free so um yeah so i'm going to enter a password now i confirm the password i'm going to enter an email address and confirm email address i'm going to use this as my username so i'll just scroll down and everything is set to go i'll just click on submit and confirm i said the email address is already in use please log in or use a different email address okay i'm going to use another email address i think i've already signed in with this email address so i'll just enter this one yeah this one should be okay and click on submit and confirm as you can see here it says thank you for thank you for your membership to our uh, the name of our website as you can see the name of our website for that is color mag okay it's just the team i was trying to install before so your free plan is now active thanks for subscribing below are the details about your membership account a welcome email has been sent to my email so account this is my account this is the email and the membership level is this free plan now i can view my membership account by clicking here so once i click here it's going to show me my membership account it's going to show me invoice it's going to show me uh my account is going to show me my membership the one i've signed up for remember i use the free plan so if i wanted to take payments all i need to do is to create a uh, a paid uh plan or a paid yeah, a paid membership plan and add my payment gateways very simple so guys if you have any question about this stuff tell me in the comment section and i'll be there to answer all your questions and if, if i'm i'm planning to make a full to um, detailed tutorial about how i'm going to use this on my own personal website because i have plans to use this stuff on my website and i'll be working towards it and if you want to see those videos when i'm going to be making them when i'm going to put it up make sure you're subscribed and you know tell me in the comment section as well so that i would know that you're interested and i'll make the video so right now everything is good is good to go i just showed you a basic stuff okay so if you have a very beautiful team of course these things will be looking like this it will be looking way way more better okay so this is how you do it okay so let's say for example now we have members already now how do we show them content how do we restrict content now that is another good part so what we need to do is to go back to the back end of our website 
okay right now as you can see we are not logged in as admin so i want to log in as admin So I want to make sure I'm logged in as the admin. Then I can do stuff. Okay. So right now, let me log in this account. Okay, I'm logging in right now. So once I'm in right now, as you can see, I'm in. So what I want to do right now, let's say for example, I want to restrict uh, my pages or my posts or, you know, whatever I want to restrict, only members, you know, to have access to it. And I can select which kind of members, is it the free members or the paid ones, you know, different levels of members. I can, you know, do anything I want with this uh, plugin. So you can just go to post and click on add new post and on that section you can you know add the post you want to add now this post remember you can you know select who should see it and who shouldn't see it so i can call this anything and write anything i want so right here as you can see you see this um, required membership so once you click on it you're going to see all the plans you have created right now i only have the free plan and that's why you're seeing this free plan only so let's say for example i am creating this post or this uh, special store for a special category of members i'm going to select those members here now once i select them only them can have access to it so if you're trying to have access to it and you're not a member of that plan you can't have access to it so that's why i love this plugin now the same thing we can do on categories we can also do it on pages and um, so many other stuff um about sharing contents with wordpress so i believe you enjoyed this tutorial so if you want me to go more deep into all these things maybe you don't understand it you want me to talk about it the more please tell me in the comment section because there's a whole lot of things i just wanted to share with you guys this plugin and have you know exactly what you can do with it and you know tell you or show you exactly how to create a membership website using this plugin called paid membership pro which is very very good and which is very very cute so if you have interest in it or if you want me to talk about to talk more about it or you want me to show you more other things inside it tell me in the comment section and i'll be glad to do that for you guys okay i'll see you guys in the next video i want you to stay blessed enjoy your video enjoy the video and um subscribe because more videos are going to be dropping soon so i'll see you guys in the next one stay blessed thank you very much